I'm Mark, and welcome to the second show in the series of Wine Wednesdays, dedicated to the art of screenwriting. And today, I'm joined by a rather nice Shiraz from Australia, so cheers. If you analyse the films that you go and watch, and why they're successful or not to you, often the ingredient is the characters within them. Now, the characters are represented to the audience through actors, of course, and behind the actors are the writers. So how do we go about creating compelling characters? Let's find out. For your character to work, they've got to have a psychological effect on the audience. And to do that, you've got to consider three specific elements. And they are distinction, empathy, and impetus. Distinction, the first element. It's about being different. In fact, as humans, we're actually drawn to things that are new and different in some way. We're just conditioned that way. So as writers, we have to exploit that fact. Great examples of that is Christopher Walsh in Django Unchained or Steve Carroll in 40-Year-Old Virgin. They're distinctly different than perhaps characters that you would expect them to be when the film started. So that's distinction making your character stand out, different somehow. The second compelling attribute you've got to build into your characters is empathy. And as human beings, we like to think we have it. So how best to explain that? <clears throat> Imagine an airport scene and the daughter uh, of a 70-year-old father comes through immigration. They haven't seen each other in a while. They run up to each other, they embrace, and tears flow. Now, as observers of that, if we watch it, I don't know about you, but I would actually start to weep. Now, that's empathy. And because we experience that as, as people, we have to write that into the character. So it's seeing how the character reacts to other situations and how emotionally that impacts them. That's, that's the essence of empathy when developing your character. The final attribute is impetus. This is the why. So what's driving and what's motivating your character? An example, think of uh, Clint Eastwood in Unforgiven. The opening scene, if you remember, he's feeding some pigs and we think he's a farmer. Through circumstance, he's then driven to revert to his former life, which was a gunfighter. And the reason he needed to do that was to feed his children. So the impetus of the character is the necessity to put food on the table. He's driven to go back to a life he hoped he'd given up. So that's what it's all about. Impetus is about what's driving your character to do, to think, or to act the, the, the way they are. So very important to build that in. Now, finally, what we've talked about with distinction, empathy, and impetus typically are around what we call protagonists. But in every good film, there's an antagonist. This is the guy you love to hate. So you almost need to reverse some of those. And empathy, you need to show that they have it, but the way that they relate to that is perhaps opposite. And this is what gives us a love-hate relationship with the character. With, with the impetus, often they're driven towards being the bad guy in the film, uh, but nevertheless there's an outcome and a payoff to why they're behaving that way. So whether you're writing for the antagonist, the bad guy, or the protagonist, the good guy, building those characteristics and have fun with it. In summary then, distinction is what draws your audience in. Empathy is what keeps your audience relating to the character. And impetus is the thing that keeps your audience invested. And that's what makes compelling characters. So until next time then, it's cheers from me. <laughs>